स्टूडेंट्स लेटर चांट ब्रह्मनाथ ओ स्वस्थ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड द सुपर क्लास स्पाइसेस अंडर द डिविजन ग्राथोस्टोमाटा द डिविजन ग्राथोस्टोमाटा अंडर द सफाइलम भर्टिब्रेटा इज इंट यस द स्पाइसेस आर एक्वाटिक दे मे बी द लिव इन फ्रेश वाटर और इन द सी और द ओशन सो दे मे बी मेराइन और फ्रेश वाटर बट ऑल आर एक्वाटिक दे रेस्पेयर थ्रू गिल्स दे आर हार्ट इज टू चैम्बर दे आर हैविंग द पे आर फिन्स दे आर कवर्ड दे आर बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाई द स्केल्स द स्केल्स मे बी प्लकोएड टीनोइड गैनोइड्स और साइक्लोइड द मेराइन फीसेस आर हैविंग द प्लाकोइड स्केल्स दैट मीन्स वाट आर द मेराइन फीसेस द द कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस एज वी डिस्कस द पाइसेस आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर क्लासेस दैट आर द कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस ओस्टिक थाइस होलोसेफली एंड डिपनोई ऑल द कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मेराइन दे आर कंप्लीटली मेराइन बट द ओस्टिक थाइस ओस्टिक थाइस फीसेस द बोनी फीसेस दे मे बी लिव इन फ्रेश वाटर और दे मे बी द मेराइन समर मेराइन समर फ्रेश वाटर देयर हैबिटेट इज इन फ्रेश वाटर एंड द कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस मीन्स द एंडोस्केलेटन इज मेड अप ऑफ कार्टिलेज एंड ओस्टिक थाइस मीन्स एंडोस्केलेटन इज मेड अप ऑफ बोन बोनी एंडोस्केलेटन एंड दिज कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस आर लेकिंग द द एयर ब्लेडर ओपरकुलम द ओपरकुलम द प्लेट दैट कवर्स द बोनी प्लेट कवर्स द गिल चैम्बर इज इट एंड दैट दैट इज अपन इन कॉन्ड्रिक थाइस द माउथ इज ventral in position in chondric thighs tail is the caudal fin is heterocercal two lobes are there but one large one small always they swim to prevent the shrinking because they do not have the air bladder and the ostic thighs they are having the the opercula means the bony plates that covers the gill chambers and they have the air bladder and uh, the scales are particularly cycloid or genoid or tenoid type streamlined body all pieces all pieces are streamlined body which helps in swimming and lateral line of sense organ is present in all pieces holocephaly uh, another class the specialized cartilaginous pieces uh, but they do not have cloaca yes cloaca is present in chondric thighs or elasmobranchi and uh, the holocephaly even though they are cartilaginous pieces they lack the cloaca the common uh, that um, passes the common organ uh, the structure through which the uh, urine the nitrogenous waste the uh, with the solid waste or the reproductive uh, substance pass through the cloaca is absent the body is the scaleless but operculum is uh, present dipnoi another class which are commonly known as primitive lung pieces because the air bladder is present which act like the lungs okay let us discuss a few questions on pieces the endoskeleton of elasmo branchs means chondric thighs is made up of it is made up of the cartilages ostic thighs have the skeleton endoskeleton bony endoskeleton 
male of chondritic thighs consists of the copulatory organs called claspers claspers which are absent in not present in the ostic thighs operculum is absent in this feces in which, which feces in chondritic thighs Chondritic thighs means cartilaginous feces or we can say uh, the chondritic thighs feces is written so okay in which feces in chondritic thighs air bladder is present in which feces in the bony feces you could write down uh, the cartilaginous cartilaginous feces it is more appropriate because if the feces is written over here then cartilaginous feces if nothing is written then chondritic thighs Con in chondritic thighs the feces term is also included that's why okay and air bladder is present in this feces in bony feces air bladder in diploid act as lung Chimera is the example of class holocephaly. In this session, we are going to discuss the another superclass of division Gnathostomata that is Tetrapoda. The Gnathostomata that is the um, uh, animals which are having the jaws. Tetrapoda. Tetra means four, poda means feet. Tetrapodos means singular, the podos means leg or the foot, foot or leg. Tetra, this is derived from two Greek terms uh, that is uh, tetra means four. And podos means foot. So tetrapoda means the four limbed, the animals which are having four limbs, okay, that we can get that four limbed is tetrapoda comes under gnathostomata gnathostomata means uh, with jaws these animals are having jaws and gnathostomata division is divided into pisces and tetrapoda pisces we have discussed in earlier session and this uh, tetrapoda means four limbs these animals may be terrestrial or aquatic even maybe both some animals they uh, sometimes they live in uh, water uh, they go to water for laying the eggs and otherwise they live in on a uh, live on land so the animals may be terrestrial or aquatic aquatic means when they live in water they are having the paired appendages the four limbs these are paired means as we are having two hands two legs these are the paired appendages pentadoctyl limbs what is pentadoctyl pentadoctyl means the limbs with five digits means five fingers or five toes in in our uh, foot in our feet the digits are called the uh, toes so pentadoctyl means what is pentadoctyl with uh, five digits the pentadoctyl limbs limbs with uh, five digits digits that may be 
the fingers that may be fingers that may be the toes the digits on in the in our uh, feet we tell toes and the thing uh, the digits in our hands we tell fingers skin derivatives are present like horny scales feathers or hairs horny scales scales already we discuss how it is present in the scales are present uh, on the body of the pisces the pisces uh, the horny scales means top scales and these are skin deri derivatives the skin is uh, having the different layer the outermost layer skin epidermal extensions we can tell these are the epidermal extensions okay they are extended they are derived from epidermis epidermis the skin and the outermost layer stratum corneum the outermost layer that is outermost layer of of what of the skin outermost layer of epidermis that is stratum means layer stratum means layer corneum okay the stratum corneum that uh, layer is there that uh, gives rise the scales or feathers or hairs pulmonary respiration respiration by lungs respiration by lungs even in early stage in embryonic stage some are having the embryonic stage like the amphibians we will discuss the they are having some uh, gill respiration or cutaneous respiration is also found but main type is uh, the pulmonary respiration pulmonary is adjective for the lungs when the respiration is uh, done by occurs through the lungs it is called pulmonary respiration and the heart is uh, with uh, three to four chamber heart is present with uh, three to four chambers tetrapods tetrapods divided into or we can say tetrapoda is divided into four classes what are they the amphibia reptilia apes and mammalia apes and mammalia now we will discuss amphibia amphibia means uh, those who are living both land and water amphibious amphibia word we can say the amphibia word is derived from two two greek words what are the two greek words amphi and bios amphi means both bios means life 
those who live both water land and water what are the amphibians those who live on animals are amphibious live uh in both land and water Uh, animals are aquatic and terrestrial in habitat where do they live they live both on land or in water actually the animals are going to water to lay their eggs to lay their x amphibian's body is divided into body is divided into three parts what are they the head trunk and tail the head trunk and tail that is present in the uh, uh, in uh, the embryonic stage early stage body is divided into head trunk and tail no neck tetrapods are having the or uh, different uh, type of skin derivatives uh, we discuss but the amphibians they do not have any uh, skin derivatives on their body the body is naked uh the skin is smooth smooth skin the skin is smooth moist and glandular moist remain moist and glandular what is glandular glands are secretive glands secretive gland they secrete some uh, their secretions so it the it keep the uh, it the animals skin remain moist because the glands are present okay moist means uh, when we tell moist when uh, suppose a water film is pre present on the body surface then we will tell moist if water content is there then we tell moist okay so the skin is smooth moist and glandular glands are present on the skin keeping it moist and smooth two pairs of pentadoctyle limbs here two pairs of pentadoctyle limbs are present okay two pairs of pentadoctyle limbs the four limb this is what is this this is four limb these two are hind limbs four limb and hind limb the four limbs are shorter whereas the hind limbs are longer here the picture of the frog is drawn the frog okay the pentadoctyle limbs means the five digits are present uh, within each limb so pentadoctyle limbs 
the appear of tympanum appear of tympanum here are the tympanum okay this is the tympanum what is tympanum it is the tympanic membrane a membrane ear drum this is uh, the tympanic membrane we can say tympanic a membrane like structure tympanic membrane or ear drum that means it receives the sound waves hearing organ the organ of hearing uh, that helps in hearing it receives the sound waves the respiration is done by respiration uh, is done by lungs in adult done by lungs pulmonary respiration in adults a uh, very uh, uh, in early stage in early stage uh, respiration is done by respiration is cutaneous or or uh, bucopharyngeal bucopharyngeal respiration cutaneous means by skin the respiration done through skin okay bucopharyngeal type or even by the gills in early stages the respiration also done through by the gills what is bucopharyngeal buccal cavity the mouth cavity and pharynx region bucopharyngeal means buccal cavity and the pharynx the buccal cavity and the pharynx the buccal cavity and the pharynx they are they are having the the mucus moist mucus membrane moist mucus membrane and which is supplied with which is rich in blood vessels the mucus membrane is rich in blood vessels so uh, the exchange of gases takes place helps in respiration moist mucus membrane mucus membrane remember the mucus membrane is the membrane okay a layer tissue layer what is membrane a layer of tissue the mucus membrane secretes the mucus that is the slippery substance slippery slippery substance the mucus membrane that secretes mucus secretes mucus and uh, this membrane is rich in blood vessels rich in blood vessels means supplied with enough blood vessels that helps in exchange of that helps in the 
mucous membrane is rich in blood vessels that helps in exchange of gases. The respiratory gases, they take the uh, oxygen and gives out the carbon dioxide. The respiration is pulmonary when done by the lungs. Done by lungs means pulmonary. Cutaneous means by skin. Bocopharyngeal means uh, uh, by the mucous membrane present in the vocal cavity and the pharynx region. Okay, even the the um, the adult ones, adult amphibians, they also do respire through the skin. When they live in water, uh, they do. They also show the cutaneous respiration. The head is having a dicondylic skull. Skull, the skull is dicondylic. Skull is dicondylic means you see the if this is the skull is dicondylic two condyles the rounded bones is called condyle this is condyle condyle means the rounded bone so here two occipital two occipital condyles what is occipital? Occipital means at the back, at the posterior end of the skull. And the triangular snout means nose like extension. The triangular snout is present. You see the bipid tongue. Tongue is bipid, means bilobed, is divided into two parts. By feed, uh, tongue, triangular snout, okay, and heart is three chambered, three chambered heart, and uh, that means two auricles with uh, two auricles and one ventricle. See. Here the two auricles and one ventricle. The lower chamber is called ventricle and the upper chambers are called auricles. Okay. Excretion is done by mesonephric kidneys. The excretion and osmoregulation, wherever the excretion is done, uh, not only elimination of nitrogenous waste, but also the salt and water is uh, balanced. So, excretion is done by mesonephric kidneys, means the development is moderate. The kidneys, the structural unit of the kidneys are the moderate type. Okay, highly developed just uh, in the preliminary stage or in the development in the middle stage. So, middle stage is mezzo, mezzo means middle, nephric means the excretory unit. And the, these animals are ureotelic, means they excrete the urea. The adults excrete adults. Excrete urea, whereas the um, young uh, early stages in larval stage, larval stage, they excrete ammonia. 
okay these are the amphibians the animals of amphibia class they are known as amphibians amphibians they uh, are cold blooded cold blooded also known as poikilotherms so cold blooded or poikilo poikilotherms okay 10 pairs of cranial nerves what are cranial nerves the nerves arise they arise from the cranium the brain cranial nerves there are 10 pair of cranial nerves they 10 pair of nerves that are arise from the cranium and reaching to different part of the body so the nerves what is cranial nerve uh, cranial nerve nerves arise from arise from brain arise from brain no external ear as we discuss only tympanum is present only tympanum eardrum only tympanum pair of tympanum is present okay but uh, internal ear has one ear ossicle 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 is the bone ear ossicle is the ear bone ear ossicle means ear bone only one ear ossicle is present in each uh, internal ear that is called columella The ear ossicle is present in internal ear is columella. The reproduction, the reproduction is uh, sexual reproduction as in all vertebrates and the fertilization is external development is through the larval form called the tadpole larva. What is the larval form? Tadpole larva. These are egg laying animals, so oviparous. Animals are oviparous. Fertilization is external. Fertilization is external. Development is through through larval form called tadpole larva. The larval form is known as tadpole larva. Tadpole larva. Okay, the tadpole larva these are. Having the external gills. This is the tadpole larva. Having the tadpole larva are having the external gills. They develop in water and having the, these are the external gills. Have you seen the, the tadpole larva in water? You might have seen in uh, water logs in the rainy season or in the nearby water logs you can find the the larval forms of the frog the amphibians okay these animals are cold blooded or poikilotherms what do you mean by po cold blooded 
already we have discussed the in the previous sessions means whose body temperature uh, changes with the change in environmental temperature okay so this is why the animals are cold blooded or the poikilotherms even the animals the cold blooded animals are commonly known as poikilotherms that means their body temperature changes with the change in the external environment okay so what we discuss in this uh, session that uh, tetrapods tetrapod means the animals with four limbs and these uh, animals are having the pentadoctyl limbs the limbs are with five digits what are the five digits what we call uh, them uh, the fingers or the toes and the respiration is done by mainly lungs even in early stage the uh, bucopharyngeal or bron uh, the bronchial respiration is found bronchial respiration by gills and even the adults as well as the larval stages they show the cutaneous respiration respiration by skin the tetrapoda means the four limbs and the pentadoctyl pattern of that uh, um, uh, limbs limbs are with uh, five uh, digits and the circulation is drawn by the heart uh, what is the chamber of heart um, the three uh, chambers the tetrapods are having three to four chamber heart and here the in amphibians the three chambered heart is present and the body is have a body is differentiated into head trunk and tail triangular snout is present bifid tongue is present the skin is uh, moist and glandular okay the, the four limbs the front limbs four four limbs are shorter whereas the hind limbs long hind limbs are present and see the pentadoctyl one the uh, the respiration done by lungs and the excretion done by mesonephric kidneys the brain uh, is present within the cranium brain box and the 10 pair of cranial nerves are present these are oviparous oviparous means they lay egg and the fertilization occurs outside the body so external fertilization development through the larval form that is called tadpole uh, tadpole larva with uh, which are having the external gills the skull is dicondylic two condyles two occipital condyles occipital means the posterior part of the skull okay this is the anterior part this is posterior part the posterior part of the skull if this is the skull this is anterior part and this is posterior part so the rounded portions of the bone rounded bones okay it's called condyle and occipital means to the posterior part of the skull the two occipital occipital condyles are present okay so um, just write down the short note on amphibia okay write down the important characteristics and uh, even write down a short, a short note on tetrapoda and write down the difference between Pisces and tetrapoda okay thank you have a nice day